The following podcast is a Sempronto Media production. Welcome to the Waste Away Podcast. Hey guys, today we are talking to John Wiesahan and we are talking all about CBD oil. So everything someone could possibly want to know, we're going to answer kind of the top 20 questions today and all of your everything you'll want to know. So John, welcome. Tell listeners a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I am. I'm founder and CEO of directcbdonline.com. Um, I really started this company in May of 2018 to provide CBD products to the general American population. And it was something that I had been using for a long, long time, a uh, long time I, since probably about 2017 when it was not um, kind of a household term. Nowadays, the, the awareness of CBD in general has really increased, as you know. Um, but I, I saw a need out there to be able to get CBD in the hands of the everyday American person. And and you do we, intermittent fasting yourself. And I do intermittent fasting in combination with CBD. I do. Um, intermittent fasting was a little more challenging when I didn't use CBD. I actually think it kind of helps suppress my appetite a little bit, especially in the morning after a hard workout or something. But I intermittent fast. I stop eating at 6 p.m. at night and I start eating at 11 o'clock or noon the next day and I try to slam all my calories in about you know six to seven hours. Um, it can be challenging so I needed something to try to help suppress my appetite a little bit in the morning especially after you know a hard workout and I, I tried a lot of different things whether it was a supplement, over-the-counter stuff, and I didn't want to do anything unhealthy at all but I found that when I started using CBD it really helped. Awesome. Well, we're going to go right into the top 20 questions all about CBD. So number one, what's the difference between CBD and THC oil? Yeah, great question. I mean, that's a super, super popular question. Um, CBD does not contain THC. So THC is obviously marijuana um, and it it gives you a high, a mental and, and physical high. CBD does not. So I like to equate CBD as Like, you know, when you have a headache and you take some Advil and about 30 minutes later, your headache's just kind of gone. CBD kind of has that effect where you take it and a little bit later, you're like, wow, I I feel better. Whatever you're using it for, if you're using it for sleep, you just kind of fall asleep and you don't have kind of a melatonin hangover the next day or anything like that. Um, But it, it does not contain THC. It does not give you a high And that's the primary difference between THC and CBD. So question number two, why don't more people use CBD if it's got these amazing health benefits? I honestly think it's an awareness thing. And I think it's a trust factor. I think it's a, it's a very new category um, in kind of the the population of consumer products today. And people just want to, they want to go somewhere where they can trust, trust where they're buying it from. And they want to know that, you know, the people around them are using it for the same benefit that they are. People get scared because they think it's pot and it's not. Um, So I think that's a fundamental difference to make sure that we nail home. So what are the differences between hemp oil and CBD oil? Um, Hemp oil is derived from the hemp plant, but the CBD is extracted out of it. So... And there's a lot, this, this is a, it's challenging right now in the marketplace because of the lack of reg- regulation, to be honest with you. Um, hemp oil can be sold on places like Amazon and other marketplaces like that. Hemp seed oil does not contain CBD because it takes the hemp seed and, and push presses the extraction out of the seed, in which which in turn takes the CBD out of the product as well. Hey guys, I don't know about you, but if you are just feeling so tired throughout the day and just feeling restless at night, then I want you to try something called Energy Bits. Each package has spirulina or chlorella algae. They're plant-based and they have zero sugar, 40 nutrients, five grams of protein. And so you are gonna feel great taking them. So go to energybits.com and then you'll get 20% off if you put the promo code Chantel. That's C-H-A-N-T-E-L. Got it. 
So I still, I'm still not totally following. Can you just yeah. explain it a little bit better? Cause I still, I don't totally understand. Yeah, this so I, I'm trying to stay super simple and basic, but from an extraction standpoint, the way CBD is extracted is, is using CO2. And when you extract it, the whole plant out of, or the CBD out of the whole hemp plant, then the CBD comes along with it. So if you think about it, a hemp plant, just like a stock, right? CBD is, is the whole plant is taken into the extraction process and the CBD is extracted out of it. The hemp oil is just the seeds of the plant taken out of the plant. So it doesn't use the whole plant like CBD does. And they take out just the hemp oil out of the hemp seeds. So CBD takes into account the entire plant as a whole. And hemp, hemp oil is really just hemp seed oil. Okay. So I think we're on question number four now. <laughs> okay. um, is, is there certain illnesses that do better with CBD oil and certain illnesses that are helped to heal with hemp oil? Um, as far as healing of illnesses, I'm not going to comment to that. But what, what I do know is that CBD oil has been um, shown through testimonials and different things that we have access to, to be a better supplement overall to help with the customer with whatever they're trying to use it for. Hemp oil doesn't really have any uh, cannabinoid or cannabinoid benefits. So the cannabinoid system is what CBD oil really manipulates inside of your body. It's just like your nervous system, your cardiovascular system, you know, different systems inside your body, your cannabinoid system is what CBD attaches to, to kind of equalize the body's cannabinoid system. Hemp oil does not contain CBD, so it does not impact that system at all. So can you get addicted to, can you get addicted to, can you get addicted to the CBD oil or the hemp oil? No, there's there's no no research done that this product is addictive. It, there's no research done that you can overdose on this product. It's kind of like B12, where if you take too much of it, you kind of just urinate the rest out, um, which is good. And it's it's non addictive, non psychoactive. Got it. And is there number six? Is there a difference in how CBD oil is made from how hemp oil is made? Yeah, so CBD oil uses um, the CO2 extraction method from the whole hemp plant, and hemp oil is made strictly from the hemp seeds being cold-pressed into hemp oil. Okay, and number seven, does CBD come from the same plant as marijuana? No, it comes from the hemp plant. The marijuana comes from the marijuana plant. Okay. And number eight, how, how is CBD oil legal when marijuana is not? So CBD oil contains 0.03% of THC or less, which, are mic which is microdosing, which does not impact any part of your body at all, um, or zero. So isolate CBD, which means the CBD molecule is completely extracted out of the whole plant during the extraction process contains zero THC. Um, so what you'll find on the shelves of Kroger and CVS and big retailers like that typically is isolate, which has zero THC. Um, it's just a little more, um, less liberal than the full spectrum CBD, which does contain trace amounts of the THC, but, but again, it doesn't, it doesn't have any psychoactive effect. Um, so that's, Hey guys, I want you to know what I've been doing for my health that is absolutely transforming it. I'm taking massive amounts of vitamin C. Now, it's not just the regular vitamin C. This is 100% natural and it only contains natural sources, whole foods like amla berry, camu camu berry, uh, cherry. So it's literally just ground up fruits and massive amounts and it delivers 750% of your daily recommended vitamin C. 
So I literally double it and I have just seen so many benefits. So go to ChantelRayWay.com slash vitamin C to get yours today. Okay. Number 10, my job requires me to take drug testing quarterly. Mm -hmm. If I use CBD oil or hemp, will it show up on a drug test? Ice. So we've done some testing. Isolate CBD generally does not. And we can't say with any level of certainty that it will or won't because we don't manufacture any product. So we're just a marketplace at direct CBD online. We sell over a hundred brands and 4,000 items. So I'm not going to make any claims for the brands themselves. Um, but generally speaking, most brands will tell you that isolate CBD that contains zero THC will not show up on a drug test. Full spectrum CBD, which has trace amounts, if used over time, might build up some sort of a threshold in your body. But I, I again, I can't say with any certainty whether it will or it won't. Um, can CBD help with cancer patients or people with MS? Have you seen any studies or any people that have had improvements with people who have cancer or MS? We have heard people tell us that it has helped, but we don't have any scientific studies or anything that show that all we have are personal testimonials. Um, but we don't have any, you know, empirical evidence to show that, but people have, have written in and said that it, that it has, but we don't have any medical references that state that. Okay. Um, number 12, will CBD oil help arthritis pain and how does it do it if it does? Yeah. I mean, look, CBD creams and kind of lotions and balms and things like that, that we sell, um, that contain CBD. We have a lot of people write in that said it has helped alleviate the arthritis pain. Um, again, no medical research has been done about that, but we do have, you know, personal testimonials of people who have written in that said it does help. So explain, I think I'm losing track of my questions because I didn't write down the numbers mm -hmm. next to it, but I think we're on number 14. Um, explain the differences in the different dosaging. Great question. So like when you see like 500, they say 1,000, 1,500. What is, how does that, how do they calculate that? Yeah, it's a great question. So in a bottle, typically the larger number is how much CBD is in the entire bottle. So for example, if you have a bottle that shows 1,000 milligrams, that whole bottle of 30 milliliters, which is generally one ounce, or which is one ounce, but that's what most of the, the kind of the mainstream bottles sizes are. If it says one ounce or 1000 milligrams, that's 33 milligrams per serving. So whatever that larger number is, divide it by 30, and that's how much, or yeah, divide it how, how, by however many ounces are in that bottle. And that's what the amount is per serving. Hey guys, I have a free smoothie book that has over 20 recipes that are super unique, like broccoli bonanza, great green smoothie, and mojito madness, and so much more. They are really amazing and you're going to love them. And the best part is it's totally free. So go to chantelrayway.com slash free recipe, and you'll get the book and tons of other free recipes. Or just look in the show notes and click there. And it's really confusing. And we, we've, we did some videos and things like that on dosage and kind of explaining it based on what's on the package. And I can, I can send you some of those as well for viewing. And how do you, number 15, how do you know which dosage is best for you? And should you start with 500, then move to 1,000, then move up? Or what is the best protocol for that? Yeah, great question. So it is all based on the person. So... I mean, I cannot emphasize this enough where I make, like I take, I take 83 milligrams per serving, but I'm a bigger guy. I exercise a lot. I generally have a lot of inflammation from muscle, muscle inflammation, things like that. I take a lot of CBD. It helps me focus, helps me get through the day. I don't have any afternoon slump. I love it. My business partner, you know, he takes 33 milligrams a day. That's just what works for him. So I always encourage people Start on the lower side, you know, increase, increase it to where you really feel like it's affecting you. Consistency is key. Um, and, and people got to kind of find out what their own threshold is relative to their dosing. But it's absolutely unique based on the individual. 
Okay. What does number 16, what does the acronym CBD stand for? Cannabinoid. CBD is, it, it affects your cannabinoid system. Cannabis oil is the name, the term for the oil. Um, so it's, it's your echo cannabinoid system. Okay. 17. What is the difference in isolate, broad spectrum, and full spectrum oil? Yep. Great question. So isolate is the, the CBD molecule um, extracted 100% from the plant. So it's isolated from the plant. It's the CBD molecule on its own. That's what I take. I personally think it's the most effective for what I use it for. Um, full spectrum is CBD using the whole plant. So you get CB, CBG, CBN, other different cannabinoid factors outside which are kind of like sub molecules of the CBD molecule that are in the hemp plant. Um, so most people like full spectrum because they like all the benefits of a whole hemp plant. Um, but you know, for me personally, I like the isolate and then broad spectrum uses the whole plant but it goes a whole, another step and removes all the THC uh, from the oil. So isolate and broad spectrum are THC free and the full spectrum has the trace amounts of THC. Okay. Number 18, there's so many different products, including CBD oil tinctures, water soluble CBD, CBD paste, edibles, creams, salves, and bath and body products. Which do you recommend is the the best to use, and what do you should you how do you know which one to use? Like, should I do the edibles? Should I do the the actual oil or the body products? Yep, no, great question. So, give me just a second. I want to grab some samples and show you kind of the differences real fast. Sure. I don't know about you, but all my friends like to enjoy a nice glass of wine after a long, stressful day. But the problem is that all these wines have so many harmful chemicals like pesticides and way too much sugar. If you're going to drink wine, you should drink dry farm wines. Their wines are all natural and additive free, and they are tested for purity, sugar free, and low alcohol. So you can have the great taste of good wine without all those extra chemicals. And as a special gift, if if you sign up with our link at chantelrayway.com slash wine, you can get a bonus bottle of natural wine for just one penny. So have that extra bottle of wine for one penny, go to chantelrayway.com slash wine, or just click the show notes and you'll see the link right there. Okay. Sorry about that. I moved earlier so they, they were in my other spot. So a couple different things. So, you know, here's like a balm, right? So this is a Lazarus Naturals Portland Rose Balm comes in lavender. So somebody with like eczema or some sort of a skin ailment or a cut or a rash or something can put can put balms you know on their hands or on their feet or, or something like that. It, it usually helps um, the regenerative the cell regeneration and the healing process. Um, some people at night, like my wife and I, we like to drink tea at night, so we drink you know, some tea from Baskin that has CBD in it. And this is chamomile herbal tea and blood orange tea, right? So just, it's really neat, um, different varieties. I personally take the tinctures, which is the drops under your tongue. I feel like it's the fastest acting and it can get in my system the fastest. And I, I like that. And it's really easy to take and travel with and things like that. Um, my wife takes the Charlotte's Web sleep gummies. So this has some CBD in it. It also has some melatonin to help you sleep. Um, so there's gummies. For the athlete, there's patches. So these are just athletic patches where it's, it puts the CBD straight onto a muscle or an ache or a pain that you have. It's more isolated in nature versus a whole body wellness type thing. Um, we have... We have BioSteel CBD, which is plant-based uh, protein combined with isolate CBD, uh, which I, I take this every day in the vanilla flavor. So this is awesome. BioSteel obviously is a huge brand in the, in the athlete sector. Um, and then I'm trying to think what else I got. Then I have, you know, Garden of Life, the brand Garden of Life. They came out with 
CBD. This is for inflammatory response. So I take one of these pills every morning, right when I wake up, just to help internal inflammation. Um, and then I have some CBD pills from Medterra. This one is good morning. And this one helps you sleep. So this one has B12 and caffeine in it. And this one has some melatonin in it. And it, again, a lot of it has to do with personal preference. If people don't like to take, you know, a tincture or they think it tastes weird or whatever, they can take a pill. Some people like the taste of gummies and want to chew on it. You know, some people like the tea. So there's a lot of different form factors and it really just depends on your personal preference. All right. Two more. 19. Does CBD make you tired if you take too much? And what other side effects can you have if you take too much? Um, I've never, I've tried to take too much just for my own personal benefit to speak to a question like this. And I really don't ever see a side effect. Like I said, w there's been studies that have come out from medical journals that say you can't overdose on it. And you just kind of, your body just gets rid of whatever's left over, uh, which is great. Awesome. The risk, yeah. All right. Last one. Um, this is the final question. Does CBD help in the recovery of alcohol or drugs and why? Good question. So I'm going to give you two answers. So one is the first question is, is kind of the, the standard question, which we is, is the corporate talk track is we have no evidence medically that shows that. Um, there's, there aren't any studies we found that show it can help in recovery or anything like that. What I will say from a personal standpoint is on occasion, if there's a night where we go out with friends and we may have had a little bit too much to drink, if I take some CBD the next morning, it generally helps a hangover go away. Awesome. Well, there you go, guys. The top 20 questions. I think we answered most of, most of the things that people ask for. Is there anything that I didn't ask you that you say people ask me this all the time? Um, you know, I would just say, give it a shot. You know, a lot of people are scared of it. A lot of people are scared that they think it's weed or pot. It's not. Um, it can't hurt you. All it can do is help you. So don't be afraid to give it a shot. We have a lot of educational resources on directcbdonline.com. And I just encourage people to go there and, and check it out if they get a chance. And there's awesome. a there's a 20% off coupon code for anybody who wants to try for, for, for their first purchase on the site. All right. Well, you're awesome. And if you have a question that you want answered, go to questions at chantalrayway.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.